And now, here to entertain you all, because every day he's hustling. Side Hustle Cinema. Welcome back to the channel. Side Hustle Cinema here. Thanks for clicking on this video, guys. And today, we have another mystery box opening. And this time, we've got the last BAM box ever. This is the December BAM box. I uh, just got this in yesterday, so I uh, kind of can't wait to open it and see what the last one uh, has in store for us. Also, this is going to be a double opening video. I also have uh, this thing, this this big thing here. And what is it? Well, it's from BAM as well, and this was their Black Friday mystery box. It was um, $100. And uh, it's supposed to have $125 worth of uh, value minimum. And uh, so, you know, I fell for it. I have opened this one, so I've seen what's inside. And uh, I'll let you guys uh, kind of see. And and you can tell me how bad I got hosed. <laughs> um, Alright, so we're going to open up both those on today's... Uh, today's episode so let's go ahead and dive right in and I thought it was cool that the, the last band box actually had a, a black band box if you remember uh, November's box uh, we did not get the black box we only got a, a, a brown box no black paper no black paper in this one let me just Kind of can see everything right there. Well, let me kind of set this off to the side and we'll uh, check out and see what we got here. We'll start with the prop, I guess. It's, um. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, this is, um. The Spring. Let's see, the Springwood Slashers. And that's a little Nightmare on Elm Street, uh reference i forget which one it was didn't like wasn't there a like um a fake like a, a school like this like in one of the dream sequences i kind of forget but i don't know it's, it's kind of cool i guess uh let's take a look at the pen oh okay this is a really nice pen i like this check that out you got uh the christine car and uh, yeah, that's that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, I, I dig that. That's pretty good. Okay, well, doing pretty good so far. Flying right through this. <laughs> this ain't gonna take long. Uh, only two more items. It looks like probably got the art print, which this should be the uh, the final um, uh, West Craven uh, universe print or whatever. Part three of that one, and uh, yeah, I guess um, I've got number seven fifty seventeen fifty five out of two thousand, and there you go. It's a pretty cool looking art print. And now let's go ahead and check out the autograph. See what we got there. And okay, well, been getting a lot of these lately, and that is, that is uh, Lee Waddell, eight by ten. You know, got the uh, the screen poster. Uh, it is inscribed Ghostface. That's kind of nice. It's a pretty nice print. Um, but yeah, this is like the third one I picked up in the past month or so. Um, so I've been getting a lot of Lee Waddell. I'll, uh, maybe try, try to, you know, sell or trade or something like that. One of those. Well, that's a, that's, it's actually not a bad BAM box. I mean, uh, I know it wasn't going to be the killer box that he originally promised. Uh, you know, because he walked that back and, and kind of, you know, lowered people's expectations. 
uh, that he had kind of set and made it sound like the last box was just going to be epic. Uh, it was just average, you know. It was it was a pretty good box, especially if you didn't have Lee Waddell. That would be a great box. Um, it's just one that I have, and uh, yeah, so okay, I, you know, I ain't mad at it. It's not too bad. Uh, a lot of people were upset though when uh, January first rolled around and they were charged for their new um, subscription service with the where you just get one autograph for fifty dollars, you know, plus shipping. It's fifty dollars plus shipping, and uh, I still don't think that was a legal move that the guy had any right to do. I canceled my subscription. So I was not charged for that. I won't be getting those individual, um, just one autograph, one mystery autograph for $50. Because honestly, I don't trust the guy to give us value. I'll see how the first few go. But still, I don't think I want to let him pick my autographs at $50 plus tax. So probably around $60 a, um, you know, a pop. I just don't know what he's going to send because it's not it's not uh, guaranteed to be horror. It could be it could be anime. It could be any other thing. So uh, that's a big turnoff. And he really duped a lot of people by um, just you know taking the the Bam Box membership, which was a different price point, and it was on a different site. You know, because this new autograph service is on a different site. It's not on the Bam Box. So I don't I don't know how you legally do that, but okay, whatever. It's been done. Didn't happen to me, but a lot of people got screwed over. I know I got the uh, you know the apology email, even though you know I wasn't one of the ones that got screwed over. All right. Well, I did get a little screwed over <laughs> when I got this uh, this um, Black Friday box. Now. I tuned in to one of his live streams when he was kind of selling these off or promoting them. And I, I, I bought into it, you know, because he was showing off all kinds of rare pulls that could be in this thing. There was no determined amount of, of things that could be in here, you know. Uh, it, but he said that they would kind of be loaded. It said that, you know, you definitely get value of uh, 125 even though the box was a hundred bucks and that you would definitely get value and in most cases it would exceed value but you know by quite a bit he was talking about dropping in hundred dollar bills he was showing all kinds of things that could be in there he was you know he mentioned a lot he did a lot to sell it so I thought okay I'll take a shot maybe maybe they'll put several things in there well, I didn't know where this box was or, you know, what was taking so long. But uh, it finally came. It came while I was in the hospital. Some of you don't know. Uh, I had emergency gallbladder surgery. on. on uh, well, I went to the, into the hospital on Christmas Day. Um, was in the hospital for like uh, six days and had uh, my gallbladder removed and there, there was a few other complications but uh, I'm, I'm doing good now and um, but anyway this came while I was gone so when I got out and came home I went ahead and opened it because I was just so curious to see I didn't film the opening because I just didn't feel like it but uh, I'll show you what I got there was three items in the box Alright, the first little item I got, and I don't know if it's supposed to be an item or it's just, you know, something they throw in. It was this little card with Michael Myers on there. And uh, when you turn it over, it just says Chris West. And it says uh, the Bam Box Winter of 2022. And, you know, I don't know much about this. I don't really know 
what this was, you know, I, I don't really know, I don't know. It, it's an okay little card, you know, uh, I kind of like the hand-drawn look, but I, it really has no value to me, you know, too much. Uh, I got two items that I think are supposed to be, you know, I guess the big items here. And, uh, oh, stuck together. Alright. So, I got this thing. And it's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's like an animation, not a cell, but just a, like an animation page. Like if you're doing traditional animation, I mean, it's got the little tabs and holes here that where you put it on a, you know, like an animation board and, you know, it's like a, like a clear board that the light shines through and you actually draw over top you know of this item on a new page it, it's a it's like old traditional style animation I actually took a class where we did animation in this style back when I went to the uh, Art Institute of Pittsburgh uh, so I'm you know pretty familiar with this kind of stuff but uh, you know it looks like we got gals from uh, Street Fighter there I think that's what that is almost positive uh, there's nothing in here that tells you what what it is, what project it's from, who the artist was. You know, is this something like a storyboard for the movie? Is it for the game? Is it for a cartoon? I, I have no idea. I you know, there's nothing that lets you know where what project it's from. Uh, there's no artist signature, no certificate no anything so it has no value it really doesn't because honestly it could have been me who doodled that you don't know uh, that's why this does nothing for me because with no with no prominence nothing to give this thing some background some story let you know what's going on with it then it's just a doodle on a paper you know it really has no meaning unless you're just like the biggest hardcore fan I don't know maybe you guys have some information you can help me out and and you know you know something about this because I don't know anything about it um, so yeah I don't know the only little marking it has is down in the corner it says like B4 and most likely that's just like uh, like just numbering the uh, the pages you know, like I said, for the traditional animation. Okay, so that really leaves us with only one thing of value in the whole box. Because this, this thing I don't think has any value. Without any prominence whatsoever. Without any certificates or artist signature. Nothing, no certification. This has no value. That only leaves one thing with value. And it's something I, I have no... Um, love for whatsoever and that is uh, Charlie Cox as Daredevil I guess this was Daredevil from the TV show and uh, it's just an 8x10 and it is Beckett uh, you know Beckett authenticated which is nice now I did look it up because I, you know my thought is this was twenty thirty dollar autograph honestly but I did look it up and it goes for a decent amount of money um, if you buy it like from one of the companies new uh, the eBay market for this exact print it goes for around sixty dollars so um, you know I don't know. I'll definitely be selling that one. I'll probably just put a $50 price tag on it and call it a day. Um, mostly, you know, because 
I, I don't collect Daredevil, and uh, you know, I'm not into, I'm not really into the superhero stuff. I'm not really into DC. Definitely not into like the DC TV shows. So yeah, I'm I'm not. This isn't for me. That's not that's not my jam. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably sell that one off. Uh, don't know what I'll do with this. I, I'll just put it in a box and have it set around because I, I wouldn't even know what kind of value to put on it. Um, yeah, and that's it. I kind of got hosed on the old Black Friday box. I guess a lot of people were smarter than me because I've seen no one open up a box on YouTube from BAM for Black Friday. Uh, so, uh, good. I'm, I'm glad people were smarter than me. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow. I'm going to do it in a, a uh, Zobi box opening. It'll be their latest box. And uh, I also have another opening to do with that one. And it's going to be uh, what I picked up from Zobi's quality control. Some pretty cool stuff. So you'll definitely want to tune in for that one. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so we'll see what they have in store. Uh, farewell to BAM. Uh, toward the end, I lost a lot of confidence in the company. There has been some good BAM boxes over, over the, you know, the time. I, I was only a subscriber for, uh, uh, right around two years, so, uh, you know, it is what it is, but, um, it's over now. <laughs> We'll spend that money on uh, other cool stuff, and uh, we'll shoot videos on it. So, uh, until then, guys, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.